Hey everyone, it's Liz and today I'm just going to be walking you guys through kind of how I get ready for school in the morning. My hair, my makeup, and my outfit. I've actually already been to my first class today. It is um, 1230 right now. So I already have my first class, but I have three more classes the rest of the day and I have like a two hour chunk between those classes. So this is when I normally on these days um, get ready. So I thought I would just bring you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with my benefit, uh, the Porefessional. I love using this, especially on days when it is hotter outside because it definitely makes my makeup last a lot longer. I'm going to take about that much pea size amount and I really focus this on my nose area and around my mouth. Then I also go ahead and put this on the, my cheeks as well um, because that's the place where I really put foundation just to cover up my redness. And whatever I've left over, I put underneath my eyes and on my forehead. So I actually don't moisturize in the morning um, or wash my face unless I'm taking a shower just because I have really dry skin and um, I find that that's just wor what works best for my skin. So the foundation I've been using is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. I've been using this for so long. Um, this is like my second or third container of it. I love it. And to put that on, I use this e.l.f. stippling brush. Um, I just find that it helps it go on lightly but really evenly. I start at the middle of my face and I kind of just work it out from there. ahead and set that with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Powder. Um, I love this because it has really buildable coverage, so if I find that I need more coverage one day, I can build it up, but it's also light enough that it can be used to set my foundation without my face looking like super cakey. And to apply this, I'm just using this big uh, e.l.f. complexion brush. It's really nice and fluffy, so it does a really good job of just evenly distributing the product and setting my foundation so it lasts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my eyes. I have been using my Naked palette like crazy. Um, I don't know why, I just have really been into all the shades in here recently, especially um, for going out on the weekends. I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and go ahead and take Naked, which is the light tan color. And this matches my um, eyelid, my skin color, pretty well. So I just go ahead and put that on there. Um, a lot of days I don't even wear eyeshadow, but days like today, when I have extra time, I like to go ahead and do it. With a crease brush, I'm going to take Buck, which is a little bit deeper of a brown, and I'm going to go ahead and pop that um, in my crease. And this just adds a little bit of depth and shadows to my eyes so they stand out a little bit more and don't look so flat. Then using that same brush, I'm gonna wipe it off on my wrist and then just go ahead and grab the highlight and pop that in my inner corner. And then I like to just put like a little bit on my brow bone, not too much. I don't like it when the highlight on the brow bone is really obvious, but just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a um, angled liner brush and take Hustle, which is this really deep purple, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that to line my eyes. Doing um, powder eyeliner instead of liquid or pencil or cream is so much faster and also you can mess up and it's really not noticeable because you just smudge it out a little bit more. And then I go ahead and put a little bit on my lower lash line as well. So that just helps to add some definition to my eyes um, without it taking too long and without it looking like super made up, like it looks a lot more natural than pencil or liquid does. Now, I definitely don't do my eyebrows every day. I kind of get away with just leaving them how they are because they really aren't that bad, but I do like on days when I have more time to go ahead and fill them in just a little bit. I use this Maybelline um, master brow pencil so it has the spoolie on one side and the pencil on the other and all I do is I take the pencil side and I quickly draw some lines kind of throughout my brow 
Um, on this one, this side I kind of focus on the end a little bit more because it's a little bit shorter than this one. And on here, I focus on the front a little bit more because it's a little bit sparse. And then all I do is take the spoolie and blend it out. Um, I will say the one thing about this pencil is you do have to blend it a lot. It doesn't do a good job of making fine lines. So I've been thinking of switching over to a powder to see if that would work better. And there you go. Just a little bit better, kind of makes you look a little bit more put together. Now I'm going to go back to my eyes and go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara. The lash curler that I'm using is a Tweezerman lash curler, and it's definitely my favorite curler I've used. I've tried like cheap ones from like Revlon and e.l.f., and they just do not work nearly as well as this one does. I have lashes that are really hard to keep curled. And this one does the trick. For mascara, I have been obsessed with this mascara. My friends got me hooked on it. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this. It's definitely worth the price, for me at least. It definitely keeps my lashes curled. It makes them look so good. <laughs> My go-to lip color is this Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. These were like super popular ages ago and I still have this one. There's like barely anything left in it, but this is just one of my favorite go-to colors. Very natural um, lip color, but you still have a little bit more color on your lips than you normally do. So now that makeup is done, I need to do something about my hair. I had it in two braids all day yesterday and I slept in them, so it's just kind of like this kinky curly mess right now. So because my hair already actually has some nice texture to it, I'm just going to leave it down and just spray some sea salt spray into it. This is the Not Your Mother's sea salt spray. And I'm just going to spray it in and kind of scrunch it a little bit. This smells really good and it does a better job just helping the texture last. It looks kind of crazy, but I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, and especially with that seed salt spray, it's going to actually last all day. And worst case scenario, I might end up throwing it into a braid or a bun throughout the day, but it'll probably just stay down like this. So now it's time to pick out an outfit. Okay, so for today's outfit, I decided to go with this loose, um, lightweight top from Target. This little kimono style cover up that's also from Target, a nice cream color with some cool crochet detailing. I also went ahead and threw on some shorts from H&M, as well as accessories from Forever 21. Alright, so that's everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe gave you a little bit of makeup, hair, or outfit inspiration. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!